I got back into motorcycles in like 2000, and then I got Bubba in it like in 2001, and then like Aaron in 2002. We uh, we had modern little bikes when we were uh, young, like five. Yeah. And uh, we rode kind of all our life, but he uh, he raced back in the 70s, back in the heyday when uh, you know all this stuff was new. And um, so when he got back into it, he started riding the same stuff. I went to uh, Lima one year and I rode my street tracker, which was like a dirt tracker, street legal. And two of my buddies said, "Oh, we're running vintage bikes." And that, and and the one said, and I got all excited and I said, "Man, I'd love to do that." He goes, "Before you get all crazy." He goes, I'll let you use my bike. You can want to run a race and see if you really want to get back into it. Worst mistake ever. I did that and like 13 bikes later, here we are. Yeah, I got him their first motorcycle. Aaron was six and Bub was three. Yeah. And they rode 11 wheels. We had our grandparents' uh, house. They had a field back there and we would pretend we're racing. I mean, yeah. all day long we would do it. We did a little short track and I think I started on an XR100, which it was all right. I didn't know what to expect. You, know, you see these guys going sideways. And I remember asking Dad, you know, am I going to get sideways or what's it feel like? <laughs> you know, so I rode that. And anybody knows XR100, they don't get real sideways. <laughs> well, they got into it. There wasn't many quarter miles. It was all half miles, high speed. And so I made Bub ride like four races on XR100. Yeah. Then he got his butt dusted, but at least he got the feel, you know. I wasn't going to send him out to the Lions. And then Aaron, when he started, we, I used to be in a vintage 100 club. And we'd have like 18 guys. We'd have 15 guys every race. And I made him ride a whole year in that class mm -hmm. to get experience. And, and, and I really, to this day, think he races as good as he does because the experience he got from that hunt. It was a 1974 MX 100. So really, from the get-go, for me, that's yeah. that's all I, all I rode until we got some modern stuff. Memorial Day to Labor Day, it's pretty much every weekend. Whether it's a half mile, a short quarter, track. quarter mile, TT, whatever it may be. We race pretty much every weekend throughout the summer. <laughs> it's really what keeps us going and keeps That's us uh, keep keep our edge up because no matter how many people are out there, whether it's 15 or two, we always know going to the race that we're gonna have a class. We're gonna have our hands full. Yeah, no matter what kind of bikes we're on, no matter Short where we're at, it doesn't matter. Yeah, which makes it fun. It makes it a lot of fun. You know, I, I used to like put put it on them when they first started. Nah. They put it on me real bad now, so, you know, <laughs> it's the way it's supposed it, to be, yeah. though. Blames it on his age. You know? Yeah, but all that's the, the way it's all supposed smack to be. talking. I mean, <laughs> if I was still, you know, right now, as long as they've raced, if I was putting it on them, there's something wrong. <laughs> you know, they should put it on me, but we have a great time, and I'm real proud of them, and not only the racing, but you know, their, their careers. I mean, they're both teachers and successful, and... You know, I couldn't be prouder. Oh, it's the, yeah. it's the, it's my whole life. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what I do. It's just, I can't tell people. You know, people that don't get to experience what I get to experience with these two, I, I, I they don't know what they're missing. You know, we spent all that time when they're kids, but they didn't have any choice because I'm dad, and you know. But now that they're adults, we still spend every weekend together, and we cherish that. And that, to me, that's as special as it gets. And being teachers, we see it all the time that parents don't, you know. Kids get neglected, they don't spend time. It's like that never happened with these guys and it won't happen with their kids. So